yeah a wonderful welcome to this today's tutorial and thank you for taking your time to watch this tutorial in this today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use easy worship 6 easy worship is a church presentation software where you can use for presentation of your songs PowerPoint scripture media and even videos now I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide that you're going to follow in order to use this software now this is the first thing you will see when after installing and opening easy worship now it has been divided into three this is the first uh, section which is your live output now this output is what people will see when you are done with everything now this is your schedule where you create your problem uh, pro uh, program of event for that particular period now this is your preview this is where you see your songs and um, here is your database you will see your database here where you can see your songs this is where you see your scriptures uh, easy worship comes in with three uh, pre-installed uh, Bible versions you have media in that media you can decide to use video images or live feed that is when you have a camera or from a DVD um, player then this presentation is mostly for uh, PowerPoint where you include your PowerPoint and make your presentation you can split it into slides and so on then you have your themes this is a pre-installed themes for uh, easy worship 6 now let's get started it's just a quick overview now um, this is different from easy worship 9 now in this interface the way it is uh, you can still change it to look in a way that is suitable for you now to be able to do that you can come under view as you can see it is under preview and live combined if I decide to change it to the first option where preview and live all I will see is just like the old um, interface from easy worship 9 this is where it changes your schedule becomes here then your preview is here and this is your final output now if I decide to go under view again and change it to live with preview resources it also changes it now the difference between this one and the other one is this we do not see the live output here below whereas this one you only see the live output here now to start with first thing first let me show you how to create your schedule now uh, you can use any of the options but um, I prefer using this which is much more easier for me and much more convenient now for songs to appear here in your database you need to add you need to add your songs I uh, initially I said I'll show you how to create your schedule but let me show you how to create your song because for your song to appear in your database you need to create them now let's assume you have typed your song and you have done your everything your either MS Word or any of the uh, typing uh, notepad wordpad whatsoever all you need to do is to come here where you can see new and you can create you can click on it now this drop down menu gives you about three to four songs now if I'm going to create a new schedule this is what I will do but for this one I'm going to create a new song now after clicking on it a label appears a pop-up window will appear now you have so many options here you can do first of all we'll put the title let me say God is great 
this is my title and next I'll have to create label now this label is simple uh, in easy worship you present each uh, standard of your song with a label and it is called either a verse a chorus or a bridge now if I'm going to start with my first level I'll say verse 1 it will not appear in my preview now when I begin to include my song it begins to show my preview let me show you say uh, oh, it's great and his love and their forever so if I'm done with this I have to create another level alright um, before then let me show you if I want to increase this so that I'll be able to see I can use this to increase it alright I can decide to change this uh, the color of this text let me just say I'll use this I can decide to change the theme I'll click on theme more themes then um, let me just use let me say this uh -huh. I have successfully changed the theme so God is great his love follow him I'm just trying to follow him and all you do sorry this is not a sound it's just uh, one I'm creating now you can see the, the colors are not the same simply because it is only this one I've decided to give it a color but this one I have not I can decide to highlight all and give them color anyway you do it is okay now once I'm done I, I have to, I'm moving to the next level which is the next verse I can click on add you can see it's telling me to and now the verse so let me just copy this and just include it as part of my song say include another level by clicking this plus sign and I'll say call now this is the color default color for all to differentiate between your verses and your chorus let me just put it here okay let's assume we are done with this I will say OK. Now, this is our song that we've just created and has been successfully included in our database. Now, anytime that you click on it like this, it gives you a live preview of the song. Let's assume you make a mistake that you need to adjust it. All you need to do is right and click on it, edit song. You just click on it comes work and you edit it now that's that about creating a song you can do that over and over again now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create your own schedule of events now I can come here and say create new you create new schedule now this is my schedule then it is from your database that you create the schedule let's say I need this song to be part of my schedule. I'll click on it once and hold, then I'll drag it to my schedule. This is one. Let's say I have this. I'll click on it again and hold, and I'll drag it. Now, let's assume I am going to use a Bible verse. 
let's say I'm going to use the Bible verse as part of my program immediately after this song the next Bible verse will be used I'll click and hold and drag it this is how you create your schedule let's say there is a media that I need to use from here I'll click on it and I'll push it so this is how I'm creating my schedule now the essence for creating this schedule is for you not to be confused at the end of the day for instance you have a lot of songs in your database a lot of scriptures a lot of uh, media presentation and so on and so forth and um, for you to be going back and forth and be looking for this maybe a daunting tax so what you need to do is to actually create a schedule for that so that once you have this schedule in place you know that this is your work for that uh, program of event and once you are done with it you click on save then you name the schedule and, and, and you save it I'm not saving it so once you name it and save it what happens is this you are only saving it for this schedule and another important point that you need to know is this if for instance in this song that you are going to um, uh, I'll put it live has a problem in your schedule and you decide to right and click and edit the song here if you edit it in your schedule what happens is this it does not affect the song here in the database so if you are going to edit it here you have to come back here and also do the same else after this presentation next and you open it you will not see the schedule until you are going back to it I hope I'm communicating now even here you can uh, rearrange your schedule you can either click hold and drag it up you can move this down or you can right and click on it move item up move down edit title add item you understand so you there is it is very uh, flexible for you to be able to do now once you are done with this and you want to go live with it all you need to do is click on what on this once you click on it it changes here automatically that's the essence of using this uh, uh, procedure but if you are using either the top one or the low one let me say the top one once you click on it is it does not change here come in, sorry once you click on it it does not change here until you click that's the essence of this go live when you click on it it goes live and changes now once it is here that means everybody is saying this I hope I'm communicating now under media okay before we go to media under our scripture uh, if these uh, versions are not still enough for you you can click on collections you can click on more they tell you which one are being installed and these are the three uh, ones once you want uh, to install more all you need to do is to click install Bible from Dix uh, it takes you to where you uh, install more Bible versions for your media if any uh, media you are trying to add whether it is a video image is a feed or from DVD you choose it first before coming here and click on add so this media automatically sorry click on video and you click on let's say add all right so this is your your media that you've just added this is your media so all you need to do is you click on this plus sign if it is an image you click on the image click on this plus sign 
go to your pictures or images choose anyone and click this is the image so once you are done with all this let me just change back to my so once you are done with everything now you need to come here because you do not want to show everybody your work environment this is our interest our output this is live output this is our interest if you come under here this is your interest the same thing goes with this this is your interest this is what you want people to see now let me just return back to this now for us to be able to see this for us to be able to see only the live output without seeing your preview your schedule and other uh, components all you need to do is come to under life you just click on under life just come and check this show live output once you show live output it begins to show them only this but there is something you need to do you need to click on your windows button key click hold you click the windows key and hold then you press on P now this is what you see so what you need to do is you have to check on this option extend now the essence of this extend is for you to create a double uh, double screen one is going to be a secondary one and one is going to be a primary one so after creating your extend your PC where you're doing your work becomes your primary output uh, your primary uh, screen now the secondary one is your output which is going to be all which will show you all the viewers only the output button I hope you are getting me once you press on extend it gives you option to it gives you option to give you option to create two screen one is a primary one and the other one is your secondary one so that's basically a simple thing and don't forget to always come to live and check on show live output once you are done you have done that you are good to go thank you for watching if you have any comment please uh, don't forget to comment and please do subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you for watching bye bye